no, it doesn't have. Um, engine instruments, one, two, three, four engines. Uh, throttles are here. Afterburner switches. You just flick these switches and you get a jolt in your back and off you go. Uh, that lever up there controls the nose and visor. So now you see the double windshield system. Inside one's fixed, the outside one moves. Okay. Um, right up above, a bunch of signatures. Most of them uh, JFK engineers that took this out of service. Here's the good one. Captain Leslie Scott. 2 hours 52 minutes 59 seconds. That's it. That's nice. the record. It's not going to be that broken. Probably never. Uh, this is the flight engineer and um, he's controlling all the systems manually with switches and dials. The big one here is fuel management. This whole panel, all that. Controlling the fuel system. Um, Concord has 13 fuel tanks spread through the wings and in the tail cone. Mm -hmm. It has 13 fuel gauges. There's four, there's four, there's one, two, three, four, and there's that one in the tail. That's the trim tank. So what you see, it's not random. It's actually a big triangle. Yeah? Oh, yeah. So that's the arrangement <laughs> of the tanks and the wings, and you've got pumps and valves to move it around. Center of gravity, you're balancing the plane using fuel, and it's all manual. Uh, a modern Airbus um, has the same system. They balance using fuel, but the computer does The pilots don't have mm -hmm. to do anything. Okay. It's just automatic. That's the expansion gap. When the plane lengthens in flight, this opens up about six or seven centimeters. You could actually put your hand right inside there and uh, touch the outside wall if you've got a small wrist. Uh, all the other systems, hydraulic systems, cabin temperature, air bleed from the engines, cabin pressurization, brakes, air intakes, more engine gauges. It is just a, it is just a lot of work. These, were the, these guys are the best.